Okay, so there is a new tablet from Huawei, which is what I'm holding right now. And this is called the Huawei MatePad Pro 12.2 inch paper matte edition. And take note, this is the 2025 version already. If you are currently overwhelmed by the tablets that is available in the market right now, let me make things simple for you. Especially if you need a device that can serve as an entertainment hub, a productivity tool like a laptop, or even a creative sketchpad, this might be the perfect fit for you because this new tablet by Huawei is optimized on all those tasks efficiently and effortlessly for business elite, working professionals, and even creatives. Alright, unang una, what makes this tablet so special? So, pag-usapan natin kung ano yung makukuha nyo kapag binili nyo siya. So, what's inside the box? The packaging is obviously larger than expected because kompleto na siya. Kasama yung MatePad Pro 12.2-inch tablet itself. Tapos, meron pang Genius Glide keyboard and yung M-Pencil stylus. Actually, all included na. Ibig sabihin, ready to go ka na agad for productivity and creativity. Wala nang kailangang bilhin pa. Paper matte edition din yung napili kong review probably because I've been really curious on tablets like this na ganito yung display. More on that later. Pag-usapan muna natin itong Genius Glide Keyboard. Actually, it's designed to be open easily so you can switch to work mode agad-agad, which is convenient. And one of the nicest feature that I liked about this keyboard is probably how we can store and charge the pencil. Instead of the usual letting the pencil sit loosely on top of the tablet, we can safely store it here. Option lang naman to, pwede pa rin naman natin gawin yung usual na pinapatong dito yung pencil and charge it. Now, bukod doon sa storage ng M-Pencil, meron din siyang familiar PC-style shortcuts and PC-like experience. And this is because of the full-size keyboard and touchpad. Kaya para ka na rin nag-work sa isang laptop, which is comfortable so far for us. At wala ka rin kailangang iperno Bluetooth sa kanya. The connection is seamless, automatic po siyang nagko-connect agad doon sa tablet. And this is because of the near link technology. The build is also nice and I notice how thin it is compared to its competitor. Ngayon, ang meron yung keyboard na to na I think wala doon sa Samsung and even Apple, is probably the smooth and stain resistant surface. It's easy to clean, lalong lalo na if may mga accidental splash sa kanya, like coffee, sauce, kahit ano. And sinubukan namin siya. And in fairness naman, it is true. Overall, whether you use it as a tablet or even as a PC style setup with keyboard or with just a mouse, it's very flexible to your needs. Next nating pag-usapan yung M pencil niya. It's also well designed. It has an all white finish and flight yung sides niya para mas comfortable hawakan. And again, pwede natin siyang store doon sa keyboard mismo or dito sa ibabaw ng tablet and it can charge simultaneously. Now, upon setting up the tablet, I did this like a week ago. Unang-una ko agad napansin yung pre-installed applications niya. Pero good news naman, halos wala naman siyang epekto sa performance or storage, kaya okay lang. And since mostly yung applications na yung kailangan ko rin naman talaga for that PC-like experience, wala siyang naging problema sa akin. Ang masasabi ko lang, hindi siya kasing lala ng bloatware compared sa mga nakikita nating ibang Android tablets. Now, when it comes to productivity, eto maganda-ganda at mahaba-habang usapan to. Isa sa mga napansin kong pre-installed already is the WPS Office. It's a full-featured alternative doon sa Microsoft Office, wherein you'll get access to Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. And along with all the standard features like charts, tables, and may mga familiar shortcuts din tayo like Control c Control v Multitasking wasn't also an issue since this supports for three live applications running smoothly and simultaneously, letting you work across documents, presentations, and other applications with a breeze. And even with exporting, importing PDF files and unzipping large files, kaya rin or nagawa din namin siya with this tablet. 
Now, going back, how can this tablet support a PC-like experience? Actually, kaya niyang lumevel in terms of like user interface sa mga PC. It displays the upper and lower toolbars which is very the same as those on the PCs and different doon kapag ka naka-mobile version siya. Iba pa niyang PC level features is of course the file multi-opening and displayed with tablets which has specific features like pivot table, um, generate charts, you can also paste to PowerPoint which is very easy by just copying and pasting. Now, for writing and note-taking, actually, solid combination itong M-Pencil and yung Notes application. And since this is the paper matte edition, it really felt like I was writing on paper. It's also very sensitive yung stylus natin mismo dahil kahit may 10 sheets of paper tayo sa ibabaw ng screen, accurate pa rin yung sulat. Tapos yung napansin ko doon sa mismong Notes app mismo, may mga useful tools din siya like Lazo tool na pwede mong i-drag, resize, i-recolor, or even i-enhance mismo yung handwriting gamit ang AI. Tapos meron din siyang magnifier tool para mas precise yung sulat, lalo na sa mga maliliit na details. Bukod dyan, meron din tayong resource center na may free templates, stickers, at iba pang creative assets na pwedeng gamitin sa notes or ideas mo. Now, kung medyo into drawing ka or illustration, obviously ako hindi. Pero some of my teammates here, they are into drawing. Pwedeng pwedeng yung gamitan yung Go Paint app. It's already pre-installed and yes, free siya. And it's a powerful creative tool na may hundreds of customizable brushes. Kasama na rin yung mga bago katulad ng 3D oil paint brush that feels just like a real brush strokes. Also, the splash brush na kung saan parang nagtatalsik na pintura kapag nag-double tap ka sa silos. Tapos, ito hindi ko na-try pero napansin ko doon sa ibang YouTube reviews na ginawa nila to. Meron din siyang frame-by-frame -frame animation tool. So, pwedeng pwede kang gumawa ng mga short animations or cartoons here on this tablet. Now, in terms of its interface, Kung nakagamit ka na ng Huawei tablet before, hindi na to magiging bago sa inyo. Pero kung first time nyo, share ko sa inyo yung mga napansin ko sa kanya na nagustuhan ko din. Isa sa mga paborito kong gamitin sa kanya yung floating windows. Underrated feature siya for me dahil akala ko hindi ko siya masyadong magagamit. Kahit anong application kasi, pwede mong gawing floating window sa kanya. Ibig sabihin, pwede mo siyang ilagay sa corner ng screen habang may ibang applications ka na naka-open. Pwede mo rin i-minimize as a small tablet sa gilid ng screen. And then, expand na lang anytime kapag kailangan mo na siya. Okay din siyang work around para sa ibang applications ng portrait only lang. Okay, now na na-cover na natin yung features niya as a PC-like and of course as a sketchpad. As the tablet itself naman. It's a tandem OLED paper matte display. It's vibrant enough para manood ka ng mga HD or even 2K content without any issues. Malaking factor dito yung 2800 by 1840 resolution niya. Kaya sharp at clear yung naging visuals niya. Lalong lalang na for reading since paper matte edition siya, masarap sa mata. May high contrast pero walang harsh backlit kahit kaya niyang umabot ng up to 2,000 nits. And since paper matte nga siya, may konting softness sa rendering pero nakakatulong kasi siya para mas hindi siya nakakapagod sa mata. Hindi ko alam sa mga viewers natin kung ilan na yung nakasubok ng paper matte edition. Personally, I think it's worth trying to really see the difference kahit sa mga mall na may Huawei stores, itry nyo para ma-appreciate nyo at ma-compare nyo din. At the same time, kahit saan namin ginagamit yung tablet, mapa-indoor or outdoor, dahil nga matte finish siya, wala akong naging issue in terms of glare. Lalong-lalong na if you love working outside or working at a cafe, kami lagi kaming halos nasa labas, na-appreciate ko yung paper matte niya. Ang laki rin ng difference in terms of pricing, lalong-lalong na if I can remember yung nano texture ng iPad Pro is around 120,000 pesos. Sobrang mahal. Now, lastly, we have the design. Without all the accessories I mentioned, as a tablet na lang, what I have is the green variant. Actually, parang isa lang naman talaga kulay nito, which is this one. Sote lang din yung pagka-green niya. Silky texture yung finish niya, and it looks very nice and premium. It's also lightweight at 512 grams. And surprisingly, kahit na ganito kanipis yung tablet, malaki yung battery capacity niya. It's 10,100 mAh, na halos tumagal sa amin at around 14 hours kung puro video playback. Now, in terms of charging, ito yung itsura ng power brick niya. 
I think tapakita ko na to sa unboxing natin. But yeah, it's 100 the watts. At the same time, depende sa USB-C na meron kayo or the cable. Dalawang option naman. Pwedeng USB-A, pwedeng C. In terms of our testing, around 58 minutes na fully charged namin agad yung tablet. Again, using the charger and the cable that comes with it. Now, don't worry, may mga pros and cons ako at the end of this video. Pero bago natin to itapusin, may mga iba pa siyang features na I think you guys wanna know. Unang-una, it has a built-in fingerprint sensor sa power button niya. It also has face recognition. Personally, mas prefer kong gamitin yung face recognition dahil lagi akong naka-keyboard. It's also a tiny bit faster than using the fingerprint. Pero at least we have options. Without the pricing yet, personally, I find this tablet really great. It's hard not to recommend considering yung mga accessories na kasama sa kanya right out of the box. At the same time, yung PC-like experience and yung ganda nung display niya. Again, because of the paper mat. I guess if there is something I wanna nitpick lang is siguro the performance. It's fast and seamless for the most part, especially for productivity. Pero kunwari yung mga hardcore games, kunwari yun yung plano yung gawin sa kanya aside from the things I mentioned, like kunwari Genshin, Asphalt 9, I think you should go for another tablet. Lalo na kung yun yung pakay nyo. Anyway, that's it for now. And I think I'm gonna be using this tablet a bit some more. Isa to sa mga na-review ko na I can really say I did enjoy using. Again, it's your tech girl Mary and see you in our next video. Bye!